Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to talk about the differences in terms of the device object that gets created in Azure Active Directory and in endpoint.microsoft.com which is the Microsoft Endpoint Manager portal. But there is a very specific reason behind mentioning Microsoft Intune here because this video will be a part of Microsoft Intune playlist. Very soon I'll create one more video which is moreover focused of how Intune part is associated with endpoint.microsoft.com. But for this video, keep this as a reference point that everything that you are doing for Intune or everything that we were doing for Intune in terms of configuration has to be done from endpoint.microsoft.com. Microsoft.com portal itself, which has been rebranded to Microsoft Endpoint Manager portal. Okay, so if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about device compliance policies. The policies that we create to go ahead and check the compliance state of a device. Whereas the core agenda of this video will be knowing what are the differences in terms of the objects that are getting created in Azure Active Directory. I'm very specific about device object itself, okay? Compared to the device which is getting created in endpoint.microsoft.com, which is the endpoint manager portal. What are the different workflows? How exactly things work? How things are related to each other? The third is the most important point which I would like to cover in this particular video, but that does require uh, you to know how Microsoft Graph works. Now, if you don't know how Microsoft Graph works or if you want to get started, it's absolutely easy. There is a playlist already in the channel. You can go ahead and watch that. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. OK, now this is also very important for you to understand how these two different objects work, because uh, this is something which is going to help you with the videos which are upcoming for this particular playlist because I'm going to deep dive in each and every aspect which is moreover related to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal itself, okay? Now, the last thing that I will be talking about is what kind of information will be captured depending upon the ownership of a device. Now, we all know that whenever a device gets onboarded to Intune, it can be a personal device and it can be a corporate device. I have discussed about this in a lot more detail in our previous video, but I'm just going to showcase you uh, with two different objects altogether, what kind of information will be captured and why more set of information is available when a device is enrolled with corporate ownership. Okay, so before I go ahead and talk about the differences itself, I would like to start with some of the very common terms which we all know. The first one is Azure AD registered, a device just workplace joined to Azure Active Directory. Then you have Azure AD joined, then you have hybrid Azure AD joined. These are the three terms which are associated with Azure Active Directory. But when we talk about Microsoft Intune or when we talk about endpoint.microsoft.com, which is the new endpoint manager portal, we have categories like compliant devices, non-compliant devices, Intune device. Now, this is a common term, you know, which was referred to the devices which are directly onboarded to Intune itself. That means a typical device which is getting Azure AD joined and then getting onboarded to Intune will be termed as Intune device. But what if you already have SCCM on-prem, okay? So there was a category and there is a category, in fact, still, which is termed as co-managed device, wherein you can actually switch the workloads between SCCM and Intune and have a co-managed environment. That's why this category of device was termed as co-managed device, wherein I can have all the workloads managed through SCCM apart from, uh, let's say, client apps, getting deployed through Intune. This is just one example to create a reference point. But yes, these are the categories which are commonly known with Microsoft Intune and moreover related to Endpoint Manager Portal. Now, before I go ahead and just show you everything, how it works and the basic differences that I would like to talk about, there is one more statement that I would like to highlight here. And that is the foundation in terms of understanding why there are differences, right? So the devices which we see getting listed in Azure AD portal and Microsoft Endpoint Manager portal, they are not same. These are two different objects which have their own service specific functions associated with them. Okay, now I'm going to elaborate this statement 
with the upcoming demo and the deck so make sure you understand in a nutshell how exactly things are going to work and why there is a difference like this okay so let's talk about a typical process wherein a device is getting registered in azure active directory and then if you have automatic enrollment enabled the device will get onboarded to microsoft intune or to endpoint manager portal but as i've said before that from an azure ad perspective these are the three state of the device which are known the first one is azure ad registered device then we have azure ad joined and then we have hybrid azure ad joined and in terms of accessing all the information of these objects from graph perspective you can go to this endpoint which is graph.microsoft.com forward slash vida forward slash devices now when you get an output from this specific endpoint or from this specific api it is only referring to azure ad device it will not include any information that's actually captured by intune as a service right so pay close attention to this statement again the information that you will get from this endpoint is not going to let you know about the information that's actually captured by intune as a service or by the intune client that's sitting on an endpoint okay but if you want to know more information about the device objects that you see on endpoint.microsoft.com which is the endpoint manager portal then you have to go to this particular link which is graph.microsoft.com forward slash v1.0 or forward slash beta you can choose any version of the endpoint then go to device management forward slash managed devices now from this endpoint you will get the information which is captured by intune client and that's available on endpoint.microsoft.com these are the first two very basic differences that you should keep in mind in terms of understanding how these two objects exist in both these services the first one is azure ad and the other one is microsoft intune itself right now if i talk about uh, the functionalities which are moreover related to endpoint.microsoft.com that means moreover related to intune wherein we are defining the device ownership right the first one is personal and the other one is corporate owned right but as i've said before that you can also have a category defined in terms of how the device is getting onboarded right the first one was as i said before is in tune wherein a device is getting directly enrolled to your endpoint manager portal itself and then you have co-managed but in both the categories there are two more aggregation in terms of whether a device is a personal device or whether a device is a corporate owned device the information that will be captured for a corporate owned device will be exponentially more as compared to that of personal device because when we talk about corporate owned device it will also show you uh, the app discovery part that means which applications are installed on a specific device altogether this is something which i will be showing you in the portal itself okay so let's take a step back again and understand what kind of information can be queried and what kind of information is more over related to Azure AD object itself, right? So let's keep it simple. Azure AD object is just a device identity, which Azure AD uses, uh, you know, in terms of conditional access or in terms of checking the device state itself. But as I've said before, that whether a device is compliant or not is something which has been stamped or which is stamped by Intune itself on this particular device object okay so if i talk about the attributes which are getting listed from the first link itself which i have shown which was devices okay so let's say i go to graph.microsoft.com forward slash beta forward slash devices you can see i'm getting all the information listed but the fact is that these attributes are more related to the device object that exists in azure active directory but when we talk about the device object that exists for endpoint.microsoft.com which is your endpoint manager portal as you can see the list has grown exponentially it's huge right because microsoft intune the uh, the client that's sitting on the endpoint is actually capturing a lot more information comparatively required for azure ad as a service to work 
okay so that's why the object type that's associated with endpoint manager portal is different whereas the object type that associated with azure ad is different now to give you more insights for this and if you want to know more how exactly it works just go to these two links the first one is graph.microsoft.com forward slash beta forward slash metadata and you have to again go to the same link in fact and then just search for two different keywords the first one is entity type name device so all the attributes that you see getting listed over here these are related to azure ad object as well as this is the list which is moreover related to the related objects likewise i can simply query a device object being a member of how many groups by adding member of at the end of the object id itself now again these things are moreover related to graph which is going to help you in terms of having more reporting so if you want to get more insights about microsoft graph altogether as i've said before go ahead and watch microsoft graph playlist but let's say if you are absolutely new and you don't know how to begin with then you can join the channel there is a playlist wherein i have talked about or wherein i have discussed about getting started with powershell scripting in terms of knowing microsoft graph api and how how to query them okay so as i've said before that this section is more over related to microsoft graph letting you know the information that's associated with the device object that exists in azure ad but similarly if you will check for one more device type or one more entity model and that is managed device now this list that you see over here is more over related to the attributes that belongs to a device object that exists in endpoint.microsoft.com okay so if you see all this information which says activation lock bypass code okay or whether the device is compliant or not or whether device health attestation check is being done or not referring to a specific state altogether so this is something which we have seen in our device compliance policy video as well wherein we were configuring different uh, options in terms of knowing the compliance state so it's pretty much relatable as well as this is something which is more insightful right because see if you know how different information is getting binded to a specific object altogether you can actually use the respective endpoints or create your own custom query from reporting aspect itself right so you have to just broaden the scope in terms of understanding what exactly you're going to achieve right so if you know how graph works and if it's it's fundamentally exceptionally simple i'm telling you the moment you'll complete microsoft graph playlist you'll come to know how easy it is to go ahead and write your own queries in terms of querying a specific set of information that you need right now let's say i want to have multiple attributes combined in terms of generating a report that's not available on endpoint.microsoft.com that means this specific portal altogether right so if you'll go to the monitor section let's say if i'll click on monitor these are some of the predefined reports that you can query right but we all know that how broader uh, the data analysis can be when we talk about endpoint management right there are thousands of parameters that can be relatable or on behalf of which you're going to query a specific set of reports so my recommendation would be please go ahead and check the graph video check how the edm part works from an api perspective that is going to give you a lot more insights okay so the first aspect is when we talk about azure ad devices you have to go to azure ad and then click on devices you'll get the list of all the devices which are registered in azure active directory but those devices which are typically onboarded to intune will get listed on endpoint.microsoft.com which is the endpoint manager portal and to check that list you have to go to windows devices and you can see all the devices getting listed so this was all about knowing how things work from a device uh, configuration aspect and device creation aspect when it comes to querying the device just go to beta.devices if you want to query the information of azure ad device or go to device management managed device if you want to query the information of an intune device okay 
So now the last thing uh, which is left is uh, uh, the amount of information which is captured for different type of devices, right? So if I'll go to endpoint.microsoft.com, I can see the device ownership getting listed over here. So let's say I'll click on a device which is a personal device and then I'll click on discovered apps. As you can see, nothing is getting listed over here, okay? But if I'll close this and I'll go to a device which is corporate owned, though it is a non-compliant device, but still if I'll click on discovered apps, as you can see, I'm getting the list of all the applications which are actually discovered, okay? And this is just one aspect, right, in terms of knowing what and all going on with a specific set of device when a device is either marked as personal or corporate. But again, depending upon, you know, the configuration that you have done, there can be more information which is getting captured from a service perspective itself, okay? So this was all about knowing what are the basic differences between Azure AD device and an Intune device, what are the different workflows, how you can go ahead and check the, the EDM definition itself of both the device types, what kind of information is captured if uh, a device is personal or if a device is corporate owned. In the next video, we are going to talk about device configuration policy. Now, if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.